a 42 feet tsunami wave is about to hit Sitafar. Tsunami waves could be as high as 42 feet at the Sito Great Wheel and will reach inland as far as Lumen Field and T-Mobile Park, Washington State DNR said on Thursday. The study was prepared by geologists within the Washington Geological Survey Division of DNR, according to a news release. The report finds tsunami waves would reach the shoreline in fewer than three minutes in many places on the eastern side of Bainbridge Island, Elliott Bay and Anki Point. The report shows inundation from such a tsunami exceeding 20 feet along the shoreline of the Greater Sito area. Tsunami inundation and strong currents may continue for more than three hours from the start of the earthquake. According to the news release, the study shows shoreline flooding and changes to shorelines would occur throughout the Sito area following such a powerful earthquake. The study was conducted to help local and state emergency managers and planners develop and refine response and preparedness plans for a tsunami in the middle of Washington's largest population center and economic hub, the release says. The last known earthquake on the Sito Fund have happened about 1,100 years ago. Sito Mayor Bruce Harrell said that our highest responsibility as an administration is to keep our residents safe, and studies like these are a critical tool in that effort to analyze the data, understand risks and forecasts, and best prepare for future emergencies. We will continue to ensure our Office of Emergency Management and all our departments are best equipped to respond to emergencies and natural disasters, while we also strengthen our infrastructure and build a resilient city now and for the future. This is BBS News, a channel provides the hottest and latest videos. Thank you and see you in the next videos.